finish the job finish the job and I was like dang okay okay and I looked in my I got to, to work um, doing my work and in my email was a podcaster and you know she wanted to invite me on to her show um, and then she says are you coming to Philly can you come to, basically can I come to Philly and I my husband ironically had said the same thing yesterday he said why don't you do a tour in Philly and I'm like, I don't know. I never thought about it. It's just an hour or two away. I should have thought about that. I don't know. And when she said that, I was just like, I heard finish the job, finish the job. And I'm like, dang, not only finish the job, but now, God, you want me to add states? Like, I'm, I'm trying to get off the bandwagon. And you're saying add more states to the tour. And so I was just like, okay, I hear your message, God. I hear your message. And um, get to the next email. And then I get a contract for another panel to sit on about pitching and I'm like it's too much and I just wanted to come on here to say to you all who feel like quitting who feel like it's 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 too much to step out because it's too big it's too big of a dream when you feel like quitting finish the job just be consistent just constantly be consistent, doing what you want to do. Protect yourself, protect your mind, protect your dreams from other people. And you got to block out. You really have to block out people. And you have to be able to separate their own insufficiencies, their own thoughts about themselves versus who you are and your purpose, your God-given purpose. Because God gave you the purpose, not them. They're small-minded in their thinking. And they don't see the way God has ordained your path. So you can't, you have to clear out the clutter, clear out the, block out the voices and protect your God-given purpose and protect your dreams. And uh, you got to get with others who are like-minded and, um, hey, Krista, <laughs> you got to get with others who are like-minded and who are dreamers and who are big thinkers, um, then you want to give yourself a challenge, right? You want to give yourself a challenge because just like that challenge ignited me. Um, and all of a sudden I got back on the bandwagon. Sometimes you just want to, sometimes getting with these other people who are like-minded and giving yourself a challenge is all it takes to ignite you back on. And then the last thing is just take action, be a doer. So, you know, by me getting into work and doing what I was supposed to do anyway, even though I said I was quitting, I'm doing it. And I start getting the emails circulating that being a doer, taking that 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 step of faith that going on in faith, despite how you feel. Um, that. Makes God feel like, yes, you're stepping out. Regardless if you see the end result, regardless if it looks clear, you're stepping out no matter what. You're stepping out on the promise that he told you, which he never gives you the, all the steps. It's like, yeah, do this. Go set out to do this. And it's like, well, who's going to go with me? You know, who's going to go? I, I'm going to give you the 10 men. Like, God equipped me. I realized that he equipped me with all of these unique abilities, gifts that were only squeaky gifts and they don't make sense all together. But when I get to moments like this where I have to rise above, you know, the feelings that I feel, then they start to make sense. This one little gift that he gave me over here, it was to it was to fight off this person over here, even though it didn't make sense in the grand scheme of things. He knew one day this person was going to come and say what they had to say, or he knew one day I would get this block and I would need to be strong on this end. I would need I would need a certain strength to be able to overcome this particular block. And so even though you don't understand why you're unique or what this unique thing is and it's just laying here and it's dormant it's like what is this about why why this little thing sorry someone's calling me it's for a reason and the dots will eventually connect but know that if you constantly or consistently go after your purpose 
He'll do the rest. He'll put the things in place. He'll put the people in place that will help compel you to your next, propel you to your next level. He'll put the right things and the right people and the right challenges and the right messaging or He'll put it all in place, but you just got to keep stepping and keep doing and protect yourself and believe, believe that your purpose is going to, you, you will come to the fruition of your purpose if you just keep taking a step. And I'm a strong believer in what Anthony Robbins calls, uh, can I, or Connie, or can I, I don't know how you say it, which is constant and never ending improvement. Constant and never ending ending improvement and I think Phil Jackson is the one who did it best he said he told his players listen I don't want you to to improve five twenty percent I just want you to improve one percent in every area because if you get one percent in in free throws and one percent in rebounds and one percent better in blocks and one percent eventually as a team you're gonna be you're gonna outsmart all of the other teams you're gonna outbeat all of the other teams because you're improving overall six percent or whatever the categories are you're improving more percent across the board and you're just and and and, and you're gonna beat them so for me it's not about the whole picture anymore it's about just take one step, Squeaky. Just keep doing 1% of the work. And, and then, then you'll finally see yourself there. Then you'll arrive at your destination. Right? So I wanted to get on here because I felt like this was very impromptu. I was in the middle of working and I just felt like somebody needed to hear this. And I felt like this was a testimony that I needed people to know. I needed y'all to know this is not easy. This touring, this... Putting all of this together, it's not easy. And at the same time, it's fulfilling and it's gratifying because I know I'm changing lives. I know I'm helping people. I'm inspiring people. And so don't give up. Just take one step at a time. Block yourself. I love you. And this is the end of my tears. Thanks for y'all. Thanks for joining in. Um, hey, Tia. Um... Anyway, thanks for joining in, and I'm coming to your town. <laughs>